and welcome to the Personal Wellness Project. This is episode one. My name's Hannah and I'm here to welcome you here today to do our first episode. I'm going to be sending you a series of videos over the next four weeks. Each of these videos will aim to promote your well-being and help you develop your resilience throughout the next four weeks. So ultimately you can gain some great control over your wellness and sort of help you in other areas of your life. So let's get started. What do you normally hear about when someone talks to you about well-being? Anxiety, depression, poor mental health? Now, these things are really important to talk about, but we want to dispel that myth about well-being as being something that's like negative or something that's a bad thing. To put it simply, well-being means being well and all the amazing things that go with that. So, as you can probably tell, today we're going to talk about well-being and about you being well and why looking after your well-being is so important and it can have such a great impact on you as a person. So, what are the benefits of looking after your well-being? Firstly, well-being is about functioning. So if we can look after our well-being, we are more likely to achieve the tasks that we want to achieve. And we're more likely to perform better, whether that's in our personal life or in our college life. Basically, in all our daily activities, um, all those things that we want to achieve and we want to get done, if we look after our well-being, we're more likely to achieve those things. Second, well-being affects our motivation to do things. So the greater our well-being, the more motivated we are to do things and to achieve things. This might be something along the lines of your college work, or it could be engaging in physical activity, or just absolutely anything that we want to get done. It could be something on that to-do list that you've been meaning to get done for ages. The greater our well-being, the more motivated we are to do those things. Third, well-being can help you to manage and cope with your emotions just that little bit better and those challenges that you face. Again, the greater our well-being, the more in control we feel of our emotions and our ability to actually overcome those difficulties. Fourth, and really important for you as a student, the higher your well-being ultimately can lead to greater academic achievement. So if you look after your well-being, you're more likely to work harder and to achieve academically. Finally, by being more well more often, you'll experience greater life satisfaction alongside those really lovely feelings of happiness and joy. Now, I really want you to think about these benefits in a way that's actually meaningful for you. For example, how much would you benefit from experiencing those lovely feelings of well-being more frequently and more consistently? I would love for you to try an activity which will help you to increase those lovely feelings of well-being and experience the benefits that go with that. But before I introduce the task, I want you to introduce you to an activity called the mindful breath. The mindful breath is a check-in with yourself to see how you're doing. Quite often we are so caught up in the day-to-day -day things with no time to stop. We don't actually check in with ourselves. We don't check in with our thoughts and our feelings. So if we don't do that, this ultimately affects our well-being further down the line. So it's really important that we do check in with our thoughts and feelings more regularly to make sure that we're doing okay. Checking in can affect the mental and physical you. By paying attention to your thoughts and feelings, the right here, the right now, just being really pre present can have a huge impact on your well-being your self-awareness and your levels of stress and actually how you manage that. But also, in a physical way, you'll, you'll become more aware of actually how you're feeling in your body and how you're feeling in your mind. So, let's give it a go. Settle into a natural position. Standing or seated is up to you. When you're ready, take a deep breath in through the nose for four and a deep breath out through the mouth for four. Breathe naturally now. Allow your shoulders and neck to relax and just be aware of your breathing. How does your body feel? Take this time to pay attention to your physical sensations. Do you feel tense anywhere? Notice what you're thinking about right now. Notice your thoughts right now without judgment. How are you feeling? Can you label that emotion? You don't need to change anything right now. Can you accept yourself as you are in this moment? 
Now, take another deep breath in through the nose and a deep breath out through the mouth. You're now checked in. Wonderful, we are going to check in before any activity that we do. So it really brings our awareness to the present moment and how we feel in it. So now that we are all checked in, we are good to go for our first activity. This activity is appropriately called the box of happiness. As the name might suggest, we are gonna create a box or container of happiness, things that make you happy and bring you joy. It's a really great activity to actually highlight all the fun things that you can do for yourself to boost your well-being. So I want you to, you can pause the video in a minute. Um, I'd like you to go grab some paper or use the note section on your phone. And I want you to write down all the things that you love to do. Things that bring you happiness, joy, and even a sense of satisfaction. I tend to use post-it notes and a pen, um, just because I prefer to write things down. So what I might write down on my piece of paper are things that I love to do. This might include um, doing yoga, walking my dog, or something as simple as baking a cake. So I will pop these little post-it notes into what I've got as a little bag. So it's my little bag of happiness. Um, and this is where I keep all of my activities that I love to do. Now, these don't need to be overcomplicated or lengthy. Um, they can vary in time. And I'll give you some examples of that now. So one example here might be to use Headspace. So I love the Headspace app. It's a mindfulness and meditation app that I use every day. Um, you can get free trials of it on YouTube to see if you like it. But essentially, it allows you to have a little go at mindfulness and sort of takes you away from, you know, you might want to do three minutes up to 10 minutes or even more, depending on how much time you've got. But it gives me a real opportunity to actually be present and um, just be a little bit mindful for, for a few moments. Another example could be put your phone away. So this could be um, for like an afternoon, I might choose to put my phone away so that I'm not scrolling through social media or going through my emails. It just gives me that sort of um, social media or technology break that I might really, really need. So like I said, um, you can see that they are, they might vary in length um, and they don't have to be complicated, don't have to be expensive. You know, these are all free things that I can do um, in my own time. So like I said, I put all mine into this little bag just so that I can grab it when I need to. I can sort of hang it up and I can, or I can put it in a drawer and it's, I know exactly where it is so I can just go grab it whenever I want to. But you can pop it into a container, you can put it in a drawer, um, you can have it as a physical list um, like in your diary or perhaps a note on your phone. It's completely up to you. So I want you to just give that a go. And then once you've done that, you're going to have this a collection or a list of amazing things that you love to do, things that are really going to boost your well-being. And part of this is that actually I'm going to challenge you to pick one thing every day to do to boost your well-being. If you're not not feeling like you want to pick something, you could literally pop them into your little box or your bag and you can choose it at random so it'd be a total surprise and really, really take some of the decision making out of it. By choosing something every single day to boost your well-being, it means that you are taking some time for yourself to engage in an activity that you love to do that will boost your well-being. Do, we know that doing things that you love on a regular basis helps to improve how happy you are, which is a really key aspect of being well and about well-being. So if we can create more opportunities to do these activities, it will allow you to take greater control over your sort of personal wellness journey. So. Give it a go and let us know how you get on in the comment section. Let us know what activity you decide to do. Um, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. That is the end of episode one. Well done for joining us today and having a go at the activity. Hopefully you got on with it really well and you enjoyed it and you found something fun to do. Don't forget to log in for episode two in a few days.